It worked. The gear's been preserved in perfect condition. Okay. Let's see if I can rig this thing up. That should work. The chain's long enough. And the stone should hold the lava without melting. There it is. A cup full of lava. Let's see what happens when I place the bone in this bowl. The bone didn't look that heavy. Maybe I actually did something right. That's it. The statue's moving. Looks like we're in business. A piece of the amulet. It's a piece of the dragon amulet. Almost like it was meant to be. Feeding stones to these guys makes the discs on the floor move. Ah, something opened up. The headpiece of the dragon amulet. The two pieces fit together perfectly. Hey, look, a dragon. This should be fun, or terrifying, hopefully both. Well, that was an anti-climax. What am I doing wrong? I'm impressed. Richard? I put the amulet back together. Uh, is something supposed to be happening? The amulet allows its bearer to breach the force field and to access the heart of Shambhala. Use your imagination, Fenton. Think about how the morphogenetic fields work. They are a part of everyone here. I liked you more when you didn't talk in riddles. If you control this energy, you control everything it is a part of. Let your thoughts, your feelings take control. Turn your thoughts into action. But. Richard? Great. Okay. Thoughts into action. Thoughts into action. Uh... Nothing's happening. Christ. Why does this remind me of Professor Hayes' dragon story? I do like dragons.
Lieutenant, control your men. This is all an elaborate illusion. They are in no danger but from themselves. This is my chance. I've got to get free before they get organized. That's it. I've pulled some of the glass towards me. Let's do this thing. I need to cut myself free, quickly. There are still two Nazi units out there. Don't move! It is all just a figment of the imagination! Lieutenant, we end this party trick now. Follow me. We will detonate the explosives. Once we control the heart of Shambhala, we will put an end to this spectacle. Oh, Countess? Ah, the girl arises. Given up waiting for your boyfriend to save you? He's not my boyfriend. Regardless, you must realize one thing. We have arrived in Shambhala. Your usefulness no longer protects you. It is time for you to die. Soon it will all be over. Say, auf Wiedersehen. Dai Tien, Countess. Kim, are you okay? I'm alive, I think. What's with the Kung Fu? I didn't know you kick ass. Why didn't you pull that out sooner? There's a lot about me that you don't know. So I'm beginning to realize. Maybe that's something we can work on. Ha! Huh. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Paddock? Kim... You know I would. <clears throat> Richard? I don't mean to break up the moment, but it's time for me to say goodbye. What do you mean? I've made my decision. I'm going to stay here, in the past. But... Why? I've seen a great many things here that I never would have believed. I think there's a reason I wound up in Shambhala. Whatever you want to call it, there's a great power that connects every living being throughout time and space. I don't begin to understand it, but I do know it wants me to help protect it. Humanity is nowhere near ready for a miracle like this. I know that when you return to your time, you will do everything you can to keep this place a secret. Promise me. Done. Thank you, Fenton. And thank you for coming after me. I know how much you've been through. I'll never forget it. You've really thought this through? Yes, I have. One day you'll understand. 
I think understanding is more your bag. But I'll do my best to get my head around it. I'll make sure the Governor knows you're safe. Thank you. I have to go now. I'm no good at soppy. You know that. Just look after yourselves, okay? Take care, Richard. What on earth just happened? Where did Richard go? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But I'll try to explain on the way home. So that's it then? World save, catastrophe averted? You're not even a little bit interested to understand the great secrets of the universe? Nah, overrated. I'm more worried about how the hell we get back home. So you've been halfway around the world just to get here, and you're going home empty-handed? Am I? You think you're pretty cool, don't you, Fenton Paddock? You're saying you don't? <laughs>